Hi, welcome to video tutorial number 16, Recording to the Buffer. Um, before I begin, I just want to say that I know that we've really uh, stuck a lot of stuff in this patcher here, and don't panic. Um, we'll move on from here once we get this... Uh, this little microphone recording thing in here, I realize it's just one thing on top of the other. That's good practice for Max, to tell you the truth, but um, I think it might be a little overwhelming to those people who are only in their uh, second week of classes here and are wondering what's going to happen. <laughs> so um, hang in there. I know you can get it done. Okay, that said, at the end of the last tutorial, I was trying to find a glitch that was making things go click, click, click. And as it turns out, I just closed my patcher and opened it again. And the instances of the uh, super samplers all reloaded and they all worked fine and it took the click away. So there was nothing to fix. But that said, I'm going to pull that back open in a minute. In order to put a microphone on here, we have a constant problem, a, a bit of a challenge, in that we have to turn the speakers off or they'll feed back through the microphone um, unless you're wearing earphones. In either case, it's usually a better idea to just cut the speakers and turn them off. That said, there's a little bit of a trick, which I'll show you right now by, whoops, I will unlock my patcher and pull the uh, microphone over here and you'll get the idea very quickly. Now I'm going to lock my patcher and shows you, show you what happens. If you turn the microphone off, the, uh, excuse me, if you turn the speaker off, the microphone turns off. If you turn the microphone on, the speaker turns on because what they do is enable um, the audio in and out when you click on them. So what we're going to do is go about it a completely different way and what we'll do is use a selector object. Whoops, unlock our patcher, and we're going to uh, push the N and a selector with a tilde. Fantastic. Um, we'll give it two. It's going to have two anyway, but there it is. And we're going to make two of them so we can just. Um, option click on this and we'll put one up here for the microphone and we'll put one down here for the speaker. So let's first put the speaker coming out of here. Fantastic. And we can even move this over quite a bit, give us a little bit more space. And then, how did I get another one? Get out of here. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll run the uh, microphone, uh, both channels of the microphone, into this inlet. And then we'll need to, actually, you know what? Let's move this out of the way for a second because we have something else we have to do which is get rid of the speaker that's inside of our super duper sampler. So let's click our super duper sampler open. Oops, lock your patcher. Click it open and open up your super sampler. Go down, uh, unlock it, this patcher, whoops, unlock this patcher and just get rid of that speaker, okay? And everything else as complicated and insane as this looks, was all working for me anyway. So we're going to put this back away. Actually, just hit Control Save and then put it away and then close that. No, don't close this. There's something we have to do here. Uh, unlock this patcher and we're going to put an outlet on the bottom. Oops. Try that again. Open the sidebar get an outlet and put it down here. And then what we'll do is using the shift and click method, we are going to connect this to the outlet 
of all six super samplers. There's two, three, four, five. Let go of the shift key and six. There, we've done it. So now all the super samplers are going to send their um, their sound out through this outlet and now we can close the super duper sampler and you'll see we now have an outlet here and that and this are going to go to this but before we do that let's move this oops unlock this and move it out of the way because we're going to need some space here so we're going to move this over here and we're going to move these guys over here just to give us a little bit more space to work with over here. Something that kind of looks like we know what we're doing. And then connect the outlet here to this inlet and connect the outlet here to the very same inlet. inlet. And what we'll do is time it so that this one turns on when this one turns off because there's is really the only thing we can do so in order to do that um, well we'll make it and then we'll encapsulate it what I find happens is that you hear the clicks all the time if you're recording so it, let's make um, the key up and key down object type in here key you type a new object there it is key great we'll take one of those and type another N and put key up we'll take one of those fabulous and then we'll just uh, type an I twice put one over here one over here and then a, another, and type an N again and put select and just put a zero in there for the moment. I just realized I don't quite know what I'm doing yet. So here's, this is up to you. What, now, you know these keys and key up is gonna keep track of what you're typing. So, um, Let's uh, let's unlock our pat. I mean, yeah, let's lock our patcher and type for a second. There's an A, uh, S down, S up, D down, D up, etc. So, what key on your keyboard would you like to use for recording? I am going to use. It should be something easy, but something that's not near the keys and isn't any of the keys that you're already using to make music. So I'm going to just pick the equals and plus key and see what it turns out to be. 61 down, 61 up. Fantastic. So, so what I'll type in here in my select box, unlocking my patcher of course, is 61. And then I will option click it and make another one. Okay, now, when I push down on key 61, I am going to want to turn this selector on, which I will do by sending it a 1. So I'm going to type a message and say 1, there. Well, I, I like to put the little dog leg in there so that I can move them around more easily. There we go. Okay. Oops. Stop that. Okay. And when the key comes up, I'm going to want the microphone to turn off. So I'm going to make another message. Type M and put in a zero. And we'll put this one over here. Click. 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 Okay. So connect these to your selector in the left-hand inlet 
and that will someday work. Now, there's something else going on though, and that's this. This selector, when we press down on the key, we don't want it to turn on, we want it to turn off. So when this thing hits here, we want to send this guy a zero. So I'm going to push a new message, type a zero, and it doesn't really matter where we put it, does it? Um, I'll just put it near this selector so we can keep track of it. Uh, put it here this time though. And another one that will say one. So type the letter M, type a one, and let it up. Okay. So now when I hit my key 61, this is going to come down here, go over here, and trigger that zero. That was in the left inlet. I know that was kind of hard to see. And then this one, when the key comes up, is going to turn that selector back on, we hope. So here we go, here we go, and in the left inlet there. Both of these inlets get connected to the leftmost inlet in the selector down here too. That's a lot of work just to avoid a little feedback, but there it is. Okay, so now we believe our microphone will be working, and whatever it is that we're selecting our microphone to go to will actually then be able to operate. And in this case, it is the record object. So let's type N, record. And there it is, record with a tilde. We like that. And we're going to record into a buffer. So, Ted or Fred, Ted or Fred. Let's make it Fred. Because Ted is, uh, we'll put something musical there and then we'll have to switch to Fred to, to use our voices. So there we go. Record into the buffer, Fred. Can we do that? We sure can. So here will come the input from the um, from the microphone, but when you do that, to turn this one on, you want to send it a, I think it's a one, what the heck do you send it? There's a way to check, I'm sure. Look at that, one starts it and zero stops it. So now we click the one here bring that down and go into record and bring the zero down and go into record holy heck this is going to be great and then let's uh, zoom out a little bit um, and lock our patcher and of course we should have already checked to see if um, Ted or Fred was working. Let's read something into Ted. Uh, cello. I don't hear you. What are you doing? Ted or Fred? Oh, um, we've never hit the... Uh, So it's working, but you know, it reminded me of one little thing, and that is with these selectors, you can put in a preset, and we're going to do that. Unlock this, because otherwise this one will not turn on until the key that delivers a 61 is keyed up, and we don't want that. We want it to just start open, so uh, currently open. Great. So. Um, lock down our patcher, play a little more. Fantastic. And we're going to read something into Buffer Fred. 
just to make sure that Fred's working. How about this Cherokee thing? I think it's actually talking, so it'll sound something like us. <laughs> and then let's pick the buffer select two. Fantastic. All right, so let's see if by hitting the plus key we can stick our own voice in there. Ready? One, two, three, go, plus key. Testing, one, two, three, plus key up. And now we'll play our music. Testing, one, two, Wow, it's way too loud and it's way too good. Um, so that is how you can let you can record into Fred. Now um, you can also um, change the size of the uh, record and the way that we can figure out how to do that, unlock your patcher and press on record is um, to, I know there's an argument that you can send it, an argument that tells it just how long, uh, let's go look in the help file, that's where the, the size is going to be. So um, argument buffer name input channels, no, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the buffer. It's the buffer. It's the buffer that regulates how long it is. I'm not thinking clearly. It's not the record. It's the buffer. And where is buffer Fred? There is buffer Fred. And um, we'll hit um, option, click on buffer Fred, and we see name. Here's the arguments. First the name, then a file name, then duration, which is optional, and then channels. So if we want um, to make this a duration of 100, that's one thing. And if we want to make it a duration of 4,000, that's quite another. Let's try it. Uh, where are you, Buffer Fred? Buffer Fred. Uh, I don't have a file name to put in there though, so I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm still going to put 4000 in and just see what happens. There we go. Sorry, Buffer Fred. Try that out. Okay, here we go. Holding down the plus key then, and we're going to do something else for four. I'll recite the ABCs as soon as I push the plus key down. Here it goes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And let's see what we get here. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Okay, so we get, um, I'm not sure if we're, I'm going to make it 40,000 and see if it gets a little tiny bit longer. That should be a factor of 10. I'm not even sure if the buffers can get that big. Um, now I can't do the ABCs, I can't do... One, two, three. Well, I can. I know I'll be writing over it. Okay, here we go. I'll count to ten as soon as I hold the plus key down and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's play something. One, two. Hmm. Well, I... It didn't seem like it got any longer at all. It seemed, if anything, it got shorter. So, uh... We'll have to work on that on that length thing. Let me see here. I want to know how to do it. Uh, boop 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 boop. I guess we we could send it a file name and then a duration, and that might um, make it work a little better. So what we need to do is find a file name to stick in between here for Fred. And uh, I know how to do that, which is um, we'll just go over to our finder and we get a file name that it can find in our applications. 
max six examples sounds and we're always going to make it uh, load uh, the rain stick how's that so what we do is make sure you get the whole thing because it actually recognizes the whole thing copy it go back to max and just right in there after Fred put it put it in there and then 4000 and that should do it and let's see how it goes here um, first we'll try playing it fantastic And now we'll record over it by holding the plus key down. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Okay, let's try playing it. Row, row, row your boat gently down. Not bad. Row, row, row your boat gently down. Row, row, row your boat gently down. Okay, well, there we have it. That is how to input uh, recordings into your sampler setup and now you can play the piano oops that's the groovy organ cool here's the piano and then of course you can play the groovy organ and you can even turn on your crazy wah-wah all right and then you can play electronica. Weird. And then your samples. Nice. And oh, oh, I can do the Three Stooges thing too, right? I can just go. Uh, Hello. Okay, and then we'll just go. Uh, hello. 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 Nice. Well, that was fun, people. Thank you so much. And hang in there and get it done. Let me know how it goes.